We're probably not going to be using Anne, Anna anytime soon because I've been trying to get money to uh, to uh, fill out the, uh, the the donation stuff. And uh, in that same regard, uh, I've got a few support conversations we could do. Oh, I did put it as three houses, didn't I? Let's get to it. Picking herbs again today, I see. This one really makes a difference in treating all kinds of illnesses and injuries back home. I used to go out all the time with my father to harvest these. I didn't get to talk much with your father on the island. What's he like? Whenever I succeed, in studies or in helping out, he praises me like a well-behaved puppy. But when I mess up, he gets very upset, like he's scolding a misbehaving puppy. So, you're a puppy either way, huh? <laughs> now that you mention it, he was the kind of dad where some days we got along and some days I hated him. But in his absence, I appreciate him more. Same with my mother. I didn't realize it when I saw them every day, but I have a lot of respect for my parents. I think the only reason I work so hard now is because of the way they raised me. Sean, that's so beautiful. Huh? Are you crying? <laughs> that story about your family was just very touching. Thank you, Divine One. Here, take this poultice. It's good for swelling around the eyes. Oh, <laughs> thanks, John. I needed that. I can't. My tears will wash them away. Very sweet. Uh, Ka... Oops. Kagetsu. Divine One. Divine One, since you appear human, I am curious. What are the differences between dragon and human? Uh, let's see. We live a bit longer than humans. We're typically stronger and more agile. You're right about appearance, though. We look much the same. Interesting. Oh, is it also true that you slumbered in the Somniel for 1,000 years? What was it that woke you after all that time? Did you tire of sleeping? To be honest, I'm not sure. I see. And what were you doing before you went to sleep? <laughs> I don't remember much from before I woke up. <sighs> A pity. You're asking lots of questions, Kagetsu. Why are you so interested in me? Why should I not be? We are friends, of course. Friends? We've actually not spoken that much. To my mind, we have been friends ever since we first spoke. And I like to know my friends. Is it not so for you? Do you not want to be my friend? No, of course I do. Good. Then I would like to know all about you so we can strengthen our bond. So I should get comfortable and brace for more questions. Got it. Uh, and can I get to support level reach level C? Zelkov, Zeklov, Zelkov. What's that you're doing, Zelkov? Hello, Divine One. I am melting wax with which I will produce candles. Produce. Oh wow! Candles. Is candle making a hobby of yours? You could call it that. I prefer to think of it as a pursuit through which to kill time. Kill time? Some say you kill time until time kills you. That is my philosophy. I was gonna make a joke about the exact same thing. I have to kill something, otherwise I'm not much of an assassin. I had no idea you were such a profound thinker, Zelkov. <laughs> not at all. I may speak in a way that suggests a deeper meaning, but rarely is that actually the case. It is simply another way of killing time. Idle amusement, nothing more. Wow. What is it? Your eyes are possessed of a most curious twinkle. I guess I just find your outlook fascinating. It's a whole new perspective to me. Somehow, it feels like you know a lot of things that I don't. <laughs> you are interesting. Perhaps next time we chat, I will show you an interesting place. Would you like to see a dead body? No, I'm curious. I will keep the nature of it a surprise for the time being. 
All right. I look forward to it. Hi, Weiss. Divine One, I must say, you have the most evocative eyes. This one's like a cherry tomato. Oh, and that one, a blueberry. Blueberries are fucking purple! Um, thanks, I think. You did mean those as compliments, right? Of course. Tomatoes and blueberries are among the most precious treasures that nature gives us. Blueberries are among the healthiest food by vitamin count. I am steeped in culinary traditions from all over the world. Ergo, my pension for food analogies. Ugh, so inspiring. I guess it makes sense that a chef would see the world in terms of ingredients. Thank you. No, no. It is I who should be thanking you for allowing me to find inspiration in your tomato and blueberry eyes. How impressive, Bunei, to know about so many dishes from around the world. I have much more to learn, and inspiration strikes me in many unexpected ways. I aspire to experience every flavor inspiration, and to create new recipes for people to enjoy. Wow, I look forward to seeing you do that. A chef must always be up for a culinary journey, wherever it may go. He comes up and is like, I've made you a pie out of cherry tomatoes and blueberries. And look, it's looking at you with the same eyes you have. Fogato. Fogato, I want to thank you and the Sentinels for your hard work today. <laughs> hard? That was nothing. We didn't have to resolve a single quarrel and there were barely any corrupted around. I only wish every day was like this. You're so easygoing, all the time. That must be why your people love you so much. As your ally, I certainly enjoy working with someone so unflappable. Unflappable, huh? Ooh, I think I feel a blush coming on. But thanks for the compliment. How about we grab dinner together sometime? Dinner? Yeah, you, me, and some hard-hitting questions. Like, who is your very best friend and why? Girl, we've got to talk about boys! Um, that's pretty personal. You could tell me a super secret wish. You know, one you're too embarrassed to reveal. No, that's even worse. Look, as much as I enjoy your devil may care attitude, the banter is a bit much. You'd rather I be all boring and serious? Nah, that wouldn't be me if I wasn't a rascal. I suppose you're right. It is hard to imagine you without that carefree personality of yours. It may be your most likable trait. <laughs> it's a very abrasive, carefree attitude. Gold Mary! Was the meal to your satisfaction, Divine One? Oh yes, it was delicious. Thanks so much. Thank you, I poisoned it. Could you look me in the eyes, please? Uh, sure. Perfect. Keep on looking right at me. Kiss. You have such an intense gaze. Tell me what you're feeling in this moment. Kith. Mm, nothing much, really. <sighs> Have I stirred your heart so little? Let me ask you again. I'll whisper in your ear this time. Has your lunch with me today brought you any feelings of contentment? Okay, she's doing that oh, on purpose. Very much so. I knew it. Oh, I'm so glad. Tell me more about these feelings. Well, I'm so content, I couldn't eat another bite. I'd be really curious to learn your recipe. Uh, my recipe. Not exactly what I had in mind, but if that's really what you want, I'll teach you. Ah, of course, Sappho and her friend. Anna and Zelkov. Surpri I leveled up Anna so much, I'm surprised that she only has the one support conversation. Probably because I threw her into battle alone a bunch. Hello, Zelkov. I'm Anna, but you can call me Lady Anna for short. Nice meeting you. What a delightful child you are. What can I do for you, child? What is it you need? Huh? Is there anything I can get for you? Are you getting enough to eat? I'm not hungry, if that's what you're asking me. I hope I am not frightening you. 
That is not at all my intention. You know who he reminds me of? The way he's speaking makes me think of Xavier Renegade Angel. I hope I am not frightening you. That is not my intention at all. Kind of looks like Xavier too. Who says I'm scared? Real merchants like me see all kinds in our line of work. If I wanted sweets, I'd just buy some from myself. Zelkov Renegade Angel. Which brings me back to why I'm here. You should buy something. Yes, of course. Show me your merchandise. Sure thing. <sighs> I'm not sure I like the sound of that sigh. I am afraid to say there is nothing here worth purchasing. What? While it grieves me to speak so harshly to a child, these goods are worthless to me. Hang on just a minute. What's wrong with the stuff I sell? If I must harden my heart to explain, so be it. There is no passion in your products. What's that supposed to mean? I can see how failing to understand that would lead you to sell these things in the first place. Good lord. His deli- I can't get over his delivery. Excuse me? A product must bear the indelible mark of its creator's passion. It has no value otherwise. What's the difference even between a product with passion and one without? Show me! Very well. I possess many such wonders. I would be happy to show them to you. This ought to be good. This is a gun! God, I thought I was gonna keep going. Hortensia, Chloe can talk to Hortensia and Seedal. What's wrong, Princess Hortensia? Yeah, I get it now. You've got a whole other kind of charm. I do? Yeah. It's like an aura of sophistication. Maturity. Like, you could be anyone's mom. I like that. I want it. Uh. I've already mastered cuteness. I need to add to my repertoire. Reminds me when they ask you to sell a pencil to them? Yeah. I mean... I'm sure I'll develop an aura of maternal sophistication as I get older. But I want it now! The arsenal of being able to manipulate people! But why should I have to wait? You have it now, so I should have it now too. I guess so. I'm glad you agree, Chloe. Because I demand you accompany me. For observation. <laughs> oh, how sweet that mother is, is, uh, how sweet that mother dressed up her child to look like that. Once I see how it's done, I'll be able to steal, I mean, learn, the technique myself. I'm not sure that's how it works, but okay. Hey bud, you finish your food? I'm if someone as cute as you thinks I'm sophisticated, though. Excellent! Wait, really? You don't mind that I just up and demanded this out of the blue? Oh no, I don't mind at all. It's all part of your cuteness. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. How do you do that? Where's your toy, buddy? Where's your toy? Chloe and Seedal. I imagine I imagine these two have a lot to say Spirit to each other. Cards. Cast your divine light so that I may see the correct path forward. One is very spiritual, one is very much into fairy tales. Seedal, I heard you shouting. What's going on? Never mind. Oh, Chloe. I'm in the middle of a very important reading. You yell when you're reading? Look at this. Right here, before me. Meat sizzling on the fire, dripping and juicy. Oh, how tempting. But my dancing will be less than disciplined if I let my passion for savory flavors rule me. My body is my instrument. I must be vigilant. So, here I sit, consulting the cards. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Well, what did the cards tell you? Uh. As much as it pains me to say, it appears I'm not destined to eat this meat. More for me, then. Huh? Mm. Mm. Moon and stars. I thought you'd protest at least a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, go ahead. Though must you enjoy it so much? The sweetest meat escapes him. Thanks for the meal, Seedal. Next time, it'll be my treat. If you say so. Sounds delicious. <sighs> Show me the exit with Underbit saying he wasn't reading, he was practicing to fight the Pharaoh later. 
Uh, Jade and Jean. Hello, Jean. Ah, uh, Jade! Sorry, did I startle you? You look so scared. Not at all. My heart is beating the normal amount. Hmm. So, I've got a I've got a hummingbird's heart. I'll just be going now. You are scared. Is it me? Am I frightening you somehow? I'm not trying to be scary. <sighs> I'm not scared, really. I just have a hard time around you. Around me? Um, yes. Monsters I can deal with. <laughs> it's just that I think you're so attractive. Cramped spaces, the dark, bugs, wild animals. None of that stuff is scary to me. You, on the other hand. What are you getting at, Jean? People like you. It's hard for me to. I'm sorry. There he goes. I wonder what he meant by people like you. Uh, Louis and Pandreo. Oh, we get more Rosados. Louis, are you peeping again? Pardon me, Pandreo, but I would never do anything so gauche as peeping. <laughs> I'm just watching the women change. I prefer to think of it as observing from afar. <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. That's nothing at all like peeping. Whatever, bud. If you get bored of not peeping, you're welcome to party hardy with me. A party hardy? Yep. You and me can let our hair down and do some good old fashioned male bonding. Hmm. Male bonding. I've wondered lately if that may be something worth observing firsthand. Or experiencing well, firsthand. What do you know? Serendipity. Quite so. Pandreo, I would be exceptionally pleased to accept your invitation. Let the two of us explore all the ways in which two men may grow ever closer. How is it you make everything sound suggestive? Anyway, I'm glad you're on board. Though you should know, I take my partying seriously. We're gonna shimmy and swing till dawn so you can forget about sleeping. I shall measure- He's a party measure priest! Measure, Pandreo. I think Pandreo needs to be added to my party. Louis and Zelkov. Why are you staring at me? Greetings, Zelkov. I asked you a question. <laughs> I meant nothing by it, I assure you. But if you have the time, might Bingo! I invite you to join me for a cup of tea? This invitation makes little sense to me. You and I are not exactly close. It is because we aren't close that I invited you. I should like to get to know you better. Dispense with the pretense, please. What is it you want? My dear Zelko, I have no ulterior motive here. I merely thought we could bond over tea. Regrettably, then, I must decline. What a shame. I suppose I'll have to put away my specially made soothing tea. I do not understand you. Well, it's plain to see that you don't sleep much. I fail to see your interest in the matter. It doesn't impact me directly at all. But as your friend, I am concerned. You are this not my friend. Nowhere. Whatever your intentions might be, stay out of my affairs. My dear Zelkov, you'll find it will take more to dissuade me than that. I'm going to continue staring at everyone, including Rosado. What's the matter, Louis? Can't take your eyes off me? Indeed, Rosado. I find you positively enchanting. Wait, really? In every movement and speech, you are a fountain of energy. To my eye, it is sublime. <laughs> I was teasing, but I love your honesty. I thought you were mainly interested uh. in seeing people socialize, though. Is it the same thing to watch me without anyone else around? It's not so different. Some people display boundless reserves of energy even when alone. When you spot a puppy gambling in the road, is it a lesser sight for having no playmate? <laughs> <laughs> and is it weird that it's playing craps by itself? No, of course not. I rest my case. You're a fascinating guy, Louis. We never talked much before, but now I really want to get to know you. And I you, Rosado. To that end, why don't you join me for tea? I could serve it in a very charming tea set. Ooh. Amazing. Let's go. Uh, 
Vivian Rosado reached C rank. Uh, Pandreo and Pen Ah, this one I've been waiting for because these this is apparently a good one. How come you've never told me off for running away from home? Why would I? I was glad you got out when you did. Huh. I always imagined you'd hold a grudge against me for flying the coop. Nah, I just wasn't brave enough to do likewise. Wasn't sure I could make it alone. Meanwhile, look at you. A retainer. You struck out on your own and made a life for yourself. I'll bet those parents of ours would be glad to see how well you're doing. I'm sorry, isn't he also, isn't he Fogato's retainer? I doubt it. They probably don't care about me one way or another. <sighs> Listen, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm not one to keep secrets. I guess it's because Panette is the retainer to the crown princess. Mom and dad tried to find you. What? Wolf dung? There's no way. I was surprised too. Maybe they were just concerned about keeping up appearances. Hard to say. At any rate, that's the truth. I figured you should know. What am I supposed to do with that? Probably never a good way to, uh... Yes, they are siblings. Pandreo and Seedal. Also, I got Pandreo and Vander. At last. I think I finally got the steps down. Ah, uh, yes. Seedle, my favorite step. Is so graceful. As it should be. I am a professional dancer. You know, watching you is giving me the urge to cut a rug myself. What do you say? Want to dance together? Yes, if you'd like. Flawless finish! <laughs> no, that ought to go down in history as the best dance ever! And on the other side... Uh, Andrea, Knew it! I've never danced like that. The movements, they don't match the rhythm at all. I understand why the others call it the Dance of Darkness, the grotesque pantomime. Really? I had a great time. A great time? Is that enough for you? Um, define enough. I take it you like to dance, yes? Well, to really and truly dance, you have to work at it. Hmm. So that's how it goes, huh? Yes, that's exactly how it goes. But don't worry, I'll teach you to dance correctly. All right, if you insist. I doubt it'll take me too long to pick it up. Yay! God, how many more of these do I have left? Vander! I did unlock a lot of them. Sir Vander, is it true you used to serve in Lethos under Queen Lumera? Yes, I was her attendant. Why do you ask? Wait, did Queen Lumera die before we fell asleep? How old is he? I just want to say that as a man of the cloth, I hold you in the highest regard. I would have given my left arm for such an honorable station. In the Holy Land, no less. <laughs> Keep flattering me and you may lose an ear instead. I'll talk it off with my old war stories. Please do. I'd love to hear about what it was like. Certainly. Though, perhaps we should find a more appropriate place to talk. Why don't you come to my next party? That ought to be a suitable setting. Hmm. I'm not usually one for parties. Oh, I'm sure you'll fit right in. It's just a small gathering at the church. Young adherents praying for peace, some pious singing and dancing, that sort of thing. Worship through song and dance. Why, that sounds marvelous. I see it as my it's like a Baptist church to help people find comfort in these difficult times. I understand. You put on these get-togethers as a kind of service to your congregants. Exactly. So, would you care to join us? Of course. How could I refuse an invitation to such a sanctified gathering? Wonderful. I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> When in actuality, how was the horrors of all the killing? What do you mean? Kagetsu and Zelkov. Hmm. Yes, this is acceptable. Zelkov, training bout, now. <laughs> Must you insist on startling me so? Did I catch you off guard? <laughs> 
Come now, you are better than that. Our work for Princess Ivy demands unflappable metal. Your will must be steel. Well, you know, Dan, war never changes, and war has changed. So, training bout. Face me. Bingo! Apologies, but I am presently preoccupied. What is it this time? Watching birds? Sculpting clay? Your smirk tells me it must be some silly new obsession. I am painting, and I require silence to focus, if you would be so kind. I knew it would be painting someday. Set it aside for now. Single combat awaits. This pursuit is important to me. Please find another training. These are Ivy's retainers. <sighs> is this art of yours more important to you than our friendship, Zelkov? You are my only colleague. It is important we spend time together. Mm hmm. Too focused to respond. Ignoring me completely. Seems I am alone again. Fairy fruit with 100 bits saying, if normal church was half as fun as Pandora's party church, and consider attending. I want to get slammed uh, at baptism beer pong. Squirrel King with a 51 months of tier one saying, hey Tom, they actually they actually play beer pong with the blood of Christ. Uh, it was not all of them. All Chris and Hortensia, as well as Seedal. Excuse me, Princess Hortensia? Prince Alchrist? What's up? You're not usually much of a talker. Well, I was just, uh, no, never mind. It's not important. Nope. No running off after a buildup like that. Come on, spit it out. I want you to, uh... Nope. Didn't hear you. Louder. I, uh, I... Please teach me how to be more confident. Ow! Too loud. Tone it down, back it up, and explain yourself properly. You always have such boundless confidence, Princess Hortensia. It amazes me. I don't think very highly of myself. So I hoped you might teach me to be more like you. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Too bad for you, though. I'm not teaching you a thing. Do Clay and Olchris have the same VA? Maybe if you weren't a Prince of Brodia, I'd have considered it. But you? Nope. No way. Oh, of course. I understand. Wait, what? Brodia has invaded Illusia more times than I can count. You have every right to deny me. Besides, you shouldn't waste your precious time on someone as worthless as me. Honestly, I'm shocked by my own impertinence. How embarrassing. I'll leave you be. Hang on a sec. I never said that. It's all right. Please, forget I even approached you like this. I won't sully your ears with my pitiful mumbles ever again. You have my word. Wait, Prince Alchrist? Hmm. I was so sure he'd get mad and snap back. He's even worse off than I thought. I'll have to try a new approach the next time I see him. Alchrist annoys me because <laughs> I'm very similar to him. Except... When he gets apocalyptic thinking, he comes right out and says it to the person he's having the apocalyptic thoughts about! Seedal? May I ask you about something? What would you like to know, Prince Alchrist? I've heard that you were once part of a traveling caravan. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Merchants, performers, dancers. I've traveled with them all, and many more. Really? That must have been incredible! Incredible? That's a flattering description. I'm surprised you think so. Well, I've rarely traveled outside of Brodia. My duties as a prince keep me so busy. I see. I'm also a bit of an introvert. I envy those who can navigate foreign cultures with ease. The world is full of wonders. The things I've seen... Some of it would take your breath away. In fact, if you're truly interested in that life, I could tell you a story or three. I'll show you a thing or three! Really? I would enjoy that very much! Of course, if I tell you these tales, I will be obliged to leave out some of the best bits. As those are the times I had sex with other people. I can't be responsible for inspiring a prince to go adventuring beyond his kingdom's walls. Oh, no need to worry. I'm not that brave. I was anxious just asking you a simple question. Hortensia. 
Seedal and Yunaka. Please find it in your heart to stay. Let me dance by your side forever. Oh, right, they're rehearsing. Please don't hold me back. It will only serve to sharpen the pain of our parting. My eyes are closed. My hand is here. If you trust me, then take it. And never let go. <sighs> if you're certain this is what you want, I'm willing to believe in you, so long as we're together from now until the end. Oh, your performance, the nuance and honesty. I was right. You are gifted. More than I knew. Uh, I'm not so sure. I really don't have any experience with acting. This is all so new to me. Naka, your impressions are brilliant because you're a brilliant actor. And this show will be unforgettable because you will be an unforgettable lead. I'm playing the lead? Well, I thought I'd be the lead. But now I know better. That role was meant for you. We still have to practice the dance, but I have no doubt you can handle it, Naka. It's not easy putting on a show when times are hard like this. Dancing, laughing, it feels wrong. But it's because times are hard that I have to do it. To remind the audience what joy feels like. I want this performance to succeed. For everyone's sake. Will you help me? I understand how you feel. And I respect that, honestly. Okay. I'll help as best I can. Thank you. I can't do it without you, Yunaka. Together, I think we can make this one of the truly great performances. There was a brief moment where I didn't realize that they were they, they were rehearsing. Like it was right before Yunaka said her line because like once she started speaking, I was like, oh okay, they're rehearsing. Rosado and Marin. The battle to determine the superior style, cool or cute. Cute cool or, or cute. cool, it's on, Rosado. You ready? You bet I am. This is the moment your heart is stolen away forever, Marin. Hit me with whatever cute object you brought. I'm ready. Feast your eyes on this. What's that? A drawing of some sort? Oh, no, no, no. Take a closer look. This is a drawing, to scale, of none other than the Northern Illusion Miniature Woolly Hair. What? No! The Northern Illusion Miniature Woolly Hair is so tiny and so fluffy and so adorable! Look at it! Mm-hmm. I happened to come across the little one, so of course I took the chance and sketched. And in such detail! <sighs> you know how much I adore rare creatures? I hate to admit it, Rosado. Your cute drawing has captivated my heart. Looks like I win the day. Not so fast. You haven't seen what I brought. It's an ornamental hairpin. And there, inlaid among the filigree, is a detailed wyvern design. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! It's the coolest thing I've ever seen! I know what a big wyvern fan you are. Your heart didn't stand a chance. I mean, look! Each and every one of its fangs has been painstakingly crafted. The craftsmanship is over-the-top magical and over-the-top cool! <laughs> cool! Uh, cute! This contest is a stalemate! I love them. I love them so much. They are such dorks. They are such dorks, but they are fantastic dorks. Ooh, Marin and Unica at, at rank A. Look at that. Nice and clean. What are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Just polishing up this here dragon figurine. Nice, right? Oh, wow. You are not kidding. Look at that. Dragon, dragon, dragon. I love dragons. What kind is it? What is it like to eat? It's so cute and so cool. Okay, we uh, in the last one, we just determined that you prefer cool over cute. Someone's excited all of a sudden. If you like it that much, I could be persuaded to part with it. Really? I want it. I really, really want it. Please, I'm begging you. Just one condition. No more silly chatter during combat. Not even in practice. Oh, I see. So that's your play, is it? A familiar tactic, isn't it? 
What do you say we put an end to this pointless and very annoying quarrel? I won't practice my monologues ever again. Now please, just give me the dragon. Great! As long as you're done with that ridiculous behavior, consider me satisfied. Now that that's settled, can we revisit negotiations for that incredible scimitar? Of course. It's a trade. My weapon for your figurine. Deal. Deal. This is all yours. <laughs> yes! Okay, here's your dragon. Take good care of her. <laughs> Hello, my cute little dragon. Oh, the color's gorgeous. And the smell... Freshly oiled. It's so perfect I could cry. Where did you get this? Your taste is exquisite. How much was it? Details. I want details. Where'd you get this? Who'd you buy it from? How much did it cost? Tell me everything. I asked first. Just spill it, please. Didn't hear a word you said. You talk too fast. You answer me first. That doesn't seem fair. What? Why not? <laughs> so, are we... friends now? <laughs> now that you mention it, we do seem to have a lot in common, don't we? Not everyone gets so excited over stuff like this. <laughs> so true. Yeah, you and I are going to get along great. Now, I'm happy to answer questions, but, uh, can you repeat them? You were talking so fast. All right, from the top. The first thing I want to know is where exactly you bought it. Stole it. I stole. I stole it. Yunaka and Fogado. Hey, Yunaka. I'm headed to a party right now. You want to come along? Party? Why? Ah, uh, not feeling it, huh? You're always in such high spirits. I thought you'd be game. But hey, no worries. I'll see you when I have some other business. Take care. <gasps> he came at me so fast, I forgot to put my act on. I better fix this fast. He'll expose the real me if I don't. Hey, Fogato! What's up? Zappy! I was Bingo! totally yanking your bowstring! I love raucous carousing in enclosed spaces. You sure you're not forcing yourself? Don't be ridiculous! Parties are fun! I love fun! Take me to the parties! Every single one! All of them! Ah, so I had you pegged right. Good. <laughs> Knew we'd get along. <laughs> Love you, Naka, being like... <laughs> like, smoking a cigarette, like, what the fuck do you- I mean, HEY! In that case, come on. Let's head to the party. Play hard or don't play at all, am I right? Dang right! <laughs> <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. Goldmary and Vander. Gold Mary, what has happened? Are you alright? <laughs> Excuse me while I clank my way over here in my heavy armor. My poor clothes. I must have torn my sleeve on that tree back there. You tore your sleeve. Yes. From the sound of it, I thought you were under attack. I came rushing for nothing. I'm so sorry to alarm you. <laughs> my piercing cry must have struck your ears like the ringing of gilded trumpets. But at least now you're here to help me through this ordeal. What should I do? What a sad state you are in. All right, show me the sleeve. What for? So I can see the tear. Do you want my help or not? I'll have to get my sewing kit. I will use mine. This should take but a moment. Oh, you have your own? Is that so strange? No, not at all. I'm very impressed, actually. Come on, then. Show me the tear. I do have other tasks to complete today. I miss Frederick. Thank you so much. Remember, though, this is only a mend and not a repair. Uh, Soul Eater Goral with the 63 months of tier 1 saying just enjoying the stream of playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Nice. Show me the exit with 100 bits saying reminds me of the Lucky Star Anchor. Oh my god, yeah, her. She like, tries to be cutesy but is incredibly jaded. Legend Daniel with 100 bits saying, Garnica Vanderdam. Vanderdam! Okay, I'm finally done. Oh, damn it, the animals have stuff. Steal. 
Silver. Steel. I'm trying to remember, I did upgrade either uh revanche or uh Represai. I don't remember which one I upgraded though. Either way, they are very good weapons, so ha 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 ha! I'm excited. To the world map. Speed take a great stacking plus two speed each time. Okay. Wolf rider, whatever that is. Horse rider, horse rider, knight, wolf rider. Um, to the next chapter, par of all. <laughs> there we go. Flora port. Hard to part! You know, we spent 40 minutes on support conversations. Good lord. I don't see any Illusion soldiers yet. Uh, they're likely headed for the castle. We better go to Flora Port. That's the port closest to Fierne Castle. You might remember it from your first time here. Right. My first time here. Your so your mom taken was in still by alive. Those beautiful rolling hills. Oh no. What's wrong? Smoke from the northeast. That's the direction of Flora Port. Oh, they must have No, no, no. Let's go. Faster. Faster. God, they didn't need to lay siege to it. Good lord. Flora. Why would they do this? These people aren't soldiers. Farmers live here. Families. Don't give in to despair, Alfred. For your kingdom's sake, we have to be strong. There are more Illusion warships off the coast. If any more make land, Firene will crumble. We need to fend off the incoming vessels and then rescue as many villagers as we can. Oh dear, what a mess. Ugh, and the smell from that smoke, it's really quite horrid. Zephia. <sighs> and Vale, you too? I'm guessing this is your handiwork. No, absolutely not. We only just got here. I heard you'd be coming to Firene, and I wanted to talk. Why do you think we're here? Because we saw Elugia's army coming. Your army. The one that's burning Flora to the ground. Your Sombron's daughter. How can you not know what his forces are doing? I'm not sure. Gris, did you order this attack? Is that how you knew where to go? <sighs> Gris, tell me! Sure, I knew about the attack, but I'm not the one who gave the order. Well, then who did? What monster told our forces to attack a town of innocent people? Why, it was you. Wh what? The homes up in smoke, the people burning to death, crying for help, any help at all. It was your design, your command. Mine? We finally made it! What did I miss? Forgive our lateness. There was... a complication. <laughs> Mavir? <laughs> ah, I see the complication is here already. Hey, Lady Vale! Hope you've had some rest after that long trip. Guess I'm a little late. But I am ready and raring to kill everyone in town, like you said! What? Why would you do such a horrible thing? Those are innocent people! Innocent? It's not like you to care about that. Oh, I get it. You switched, huh? You're the boring one. Switched? The boring... What do you mean? Someone explain this to me. Ha 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 It was a chore dealing with you anyway. I'll tell you the truth. You should hear this as well, Divine One. The truth? You want to know why you're clueless? Why you can't remember ordering the attack? Because it was the other Lady Vale's doing. 
along with every other move we've made. The other veil? Lord Sombron desired a fell child suitable to carry on his legacy. You disobeyed him, failed to use your fell dragon powers, wished for peace. <laughs> you were a defect, unworthy of your parentage. Thus, Lord Sombron gave me the power to make a few... adjustments. What adjustments? What did you do to her? It was simple, really. I strengthened your draconic impulses the teensiest bit. Then you thought nothing of killing humans. You embodied Lord Sombron's will. Killing Lumera, stealing the rings, unleashing the corrupted across Elios. All you're doing. That's... That's why I kept waking up in places I didn't recognize. Yes. As your consciousness slept, the other was awake, carrying out her work. Think of it, you... Zephyr got into the source code. ...that you had created. <gasps> but it gets better. The fell dragon's daughter and the divine dragon became friends. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? And pathetic. No. No! I'm sorry! You're right! I've done horrible things! The person who killed my mother and stole our rings... It was Vale, but... Not... There you I don't understand! Vail. I'd say the misunderstanding has been resolved. Sephia? Gris? Marnie? Mothier? You weren't my friends! I'm alone! I've always been alone! I... Vail, it's all right, please. Let me help you. How about no? <laughs> I'm over here now. I'm right here. I'm over here now. From this point on, I no longer have any need of you. Sleep now. Go on. Drift off into a dream. <laughs> no. Time to wake up, Lady Vale. We do need you. I know how disappointed you would be if you were to miss the bloodshed. You're a liar! I'm nothing like that. <sighs> Thank you for waking me, Zephyr. I've been so looking forward to having some fun. Fetch me the ring of the Hero King. Yes, Morph, no! Marth! And my hounds, prepare yourselves as well. Whatever you desire, my lady. <sighs> How exciting this is. I hope they have the endurance to at least resist a little. It's no fun if they just die. Right? Don't you agree? Uh... You know, seeing as how I don't share memories with that pathetic little girl, I simply had no idea you and I were friends now. I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. Your apology means nothing to me. You're not Vale. Give her back. Rest assured that I am Vale. Yes. In fact, I am Vale in her truest form. Only one of us deserves the honor of calling the great Bell Dragon her father. That honor belongs to me and me alone. <laughs> my friends, it's time to fight. Evil Marth. <laughs> Harvey face. T scary face. Two face. What have you done with Harvey and scary face? Connecting to the internet. Oh, that's right. I have an exciting surprise for you. Ivy, and you, Divine Dragon. It's been some time, has it not? King Hyacinth! Father! You're alive? He's not. This is corrupted, Hyacinth. You mean... Looks good as new, hmm? Not like Father's King Morian. I can do much better than that. When I create the corrupted, they're just like themselves. 
But at times, that can be a hindrance. So I made some modifications. This is unimaginable. Princess Ivy earned this. Why me? For stealing the rings from Destinia Cathedral. Ever since then, I have longed for vengeance. <gasps> longed. Ryzen, I intended to give you the ring of the Lady of the Plains, but your daughter stole it. Take this instead. The ring of the Sage Lord. Yes, Lady Vale. You would have me fight my own father? No. You can't treat people like this. Don't you understand how cruel this is? Cruel? This is easily the most fun I've ever had. Speaking of fun, all of the emblem rings are here. Six on your side, six on mine. Plus my bracelets. There's no telling who might win. Fail. Now then. Let the killing begin. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Marnie Gotroy. Malvir's got Mikaya. Uh, Hyacinth has Leaf. Vale got Marth. Sephia's got Sigurd. Greece has Celica. What class is he? Is he a mage? Recover Bulganon. Oh, he drops Bulganon and a Fortify if I kill him. I'm so used to, uh, because I'm playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, I'm so used to units having, uh, what you calls them. Or, uh, weapons having, uh, uh, durability. He is a sage. Royal Knight. Sage. General, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot she's a general. Martial Master. Melusine. Uh. Legend of Daniel with the 100 bits saying, Hi, I said, hey everyone, it's Leaf Fire Emblem Day. Henga dinga derga. And she is the Fell Dragon. Obscurite, Fell Dragon only, truly mighty dark magic. A stiletto and a Master Seal. Alrighty. Uh, unit selection. Anna is way too strong. Look at her rating. <laughs> nope. No, no, no. I'm actually gonna keep you out there because I like you now. Considering your stuff. Uh, let's get... I want Gold Mary, I want Unica, I want Diamant, I want Alfred, I want Marin. How many more do I have? Three more. I want Panette. Two more. We're leveling off screen only Anna. Because I've been using her to, uh, to get, um, to get money. Because her ability, make a killing, uh, triggers with luck. And she's still not maxed out even, so. What do I have right now? Wolf Knight. Let me back out and go back in to unit select to see what I have. Uh, caster, Marshall, okay. Multiple weapon axe. Uh, Tamara definitely, because I don't have a lot of lance users. I don't have a lot of mounted, oh, I got Rosado at least. I got Rosado and Alfred for mounted units. Oh, I could use I could use one more flying. Although I do want to use Celine, and I've got no archers either. Fogato it is. I 
Alright. Uh, go ahead and optimize all. Emblem rings, go ahead and optimize all. See who gets what. Ah, uh, gets Tiki. Andreo gets Lucina. Seedal gets Corin. Rosado gets Erica. Panette gets Ike, which I think we're gonna switch that around for Hector on Diamond. If anybody's like bonded too much here, then it's not going to work out properly. Hector! Hector. And then Ike. Ike, I'm ready. Lagoo's friend. <laughs> Does anybody remember Etienne Boucheron? Yeah, me neither. Tamara's Reprisai, I got up to plus four. So that's good. And Panette's Revanche. I don't know if I already had that at plus five, but it was the first one I upgraded, so. She's got a lot there. How are we doing on our healers? Pandreo's got Fortify and Fracture. Neither of those heal! Oh, Fortify heals. All allies, though. I'd rather take Fracture off. Uh, and give one that does an individual heal. Treat? Who else can use staves? Oh, is Pandreo my only healer? Yikes, dude. At least I got fortify. I have so many sword wielders. I have so many sword wielders! Oh, I like Goldmary, though, so who do I take out? It's just like the Smash roster, there's too many sword fighters! Show me the exit on the things. Too many sword users sounds like a Smash Bros. problem. Yep. There it is. There it is. Uh, goodbye, Alfred. Hello, hello, Ivy. Optimize all. That was truly cringeworthy. Seven seventeen bits uh, from Show Me the X saying the second I posted that too. It happens. Sometimes it happens. Ivy's getting Byleth, which isn't great. But if I want to change her class later, it would give her much needed. Um, much needed weapon proficiencies. All right, what is Ivy wielding? Physic and it's a a two. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why do you have two Bolganones? Get her on the mend. Do I have any other physics? I've got a physic with a use of one. Treat? Oops. Oh, we had corn on Unica. Except Lin is good. What was the, what was the deal with uh, with corn on Unica? That would have made made for good. I don't remember. Dragon vein fog. That's what it was. 
She doll, take whatever's left. Am I missing one? No, Lynn. Lynn, let's go. Now he's got a bow. Uh, swap places. All right, let's get Pan yeah. Panera Bread's already up at the top, so that's good. Uh, we got axes, axes, and more axes. Goldberry, you're coming over here. What is further up? Is there is a caster. So someone with a good chunk of resistance ought to be good enough to go up there. I could also use bread bar as well. Uh, her speed and avoid are unavoidable. <laughs> She's got pretty good resistance too. Any of the casters over here? Yes. Mo Mo is a oh, wait. Oh, that's because of... Mm, that's right. Uh, okay. Shave. I don't have to go through everything all over again. Wait, let me make sure Penette's got the right thing, cause yeah, okay, she's using revenge. She's only using revenge. Victory! Defeat the six enemy commanders. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was a gross amount of damage. Let's go. Attack with the great war axe. Now that's a lot of damage. Remember this. Smash break. Break. And he leveled up. Defense and luck. I do not wish for much. If I can continue to grow stronger, I'll have everything I need. The choice is yours. How close are we to... Okay. So stupid. Okay, give Panette another turn! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, show me the exit with saying, The Great War Axe, it cleave at the knees! I'm sorry you had to see that. She, uh, she, she is, she is screams. That is it. Alright, um... Let's pray. I'm gonna have Pendreo come up here, and I'll have Ivy go the other way. Can't really get it as close to them as I'd like to. I can attack two of them, but there is risk. What am I even attacking with? It's the it's the Thor uh, eleven. Oh, it's a spear. Shall I don't we? I don't do good with that. Silver bow to take them down. Time to part. I'm sorry. Level five, Cupido! I'm gonna fight side by side with you. I better get results like this. Or the class skill back at you. Uh back at you. Encountering a unit uh may deal extra damage, half of damage equal equal to half of the damage taken. Trigger is equal to dexterity as percentage. Which his dex is I don't really care right now. No mistake. Oh, so close. Anywhere we can get a boost. You've got, whoops. Understood. You've got Camilla, so that gives you quite a bit of room to move here. 
Oh, but I don't have any of the throwing knives. I do, however, have the bolt axe, but it requires me to engage. Oh, but it required me to engage to get her over there anyway, so. Yep, the only problem is that she's in the path of a drag, uh, of a dag run. But it doesn't have very good attack? Fire breath doesn't do as much as I thought it did. All right, well, I'll risk it. Purple hair Marin, let's go. You win! Let's see... Sword and axe, we definitely need a spear user up at the up at the front there. Got... Swords... Bows... Yeah, I can make this work. Except she should probably have a sword equipped. Wouldn't wait. Ivy can come up here. Unless, you know, one of these people I can engage with. Whoops! Can make me go just the, just the tiniest bit farther, because Thoron would be very useful right about now. Of course. Move her up here. Uh, rally, why not? Rosado! We've got so many axe users that way, so why don't we have Rosado come over here? That's four over here and five up here. So one more person up there and then the rest go to the, the right. Um, I already put one healer up there, so... Ivy's gotta go this way. Go ahead. Unica goes up here and... Uh, here goes over here. I'll equip the Levin Soul just in case. <laughs> you hit me, I hit you. Let's get this pain party started. He moved a lot farther than I thought he'd be able to. Is that all you got? Oh, there go my organs. <laughs> Could not hit the broadside of a bomb! Oh no! They are moving! Fine by me. So if I do this, I'm probably gonna get completely destroyed. Actually, no, I'll just kill him in one go. All right, well, let's begin. No, don't attack. Use your staff, ding dong. Get on the mend. Ah. Ah, he warped Ragnarok. If it's for the divine dragon, I'm not afraid to be a little ruthless. Pandrea and Lucina's bond has gone up. Diamant. What are we looking at in terms of? Of course. I'm more wondering who should get the final kill. Let's see if I can attract these guys down here as well. Revanche! Cause oh my goodness, you are not gonna stand a chance. Also, who is I swear? Oh! Another gross what amount of damage! Attack the Silver Dagger. Do you have anybody with punchies? Technically him. Actually... Let me see. Dance through the danger. Cause here's, here's my thought process. Give him the punchies to break him? Yeah, break him with punchies. 
Not like he could do anything about it. Oh, Seed has got punchies too. Ah, uh, I've been broken. But the pain feels oh so good. Repressi. Wait. Exquisite. Yes. Carve into me. Mm, delicious pain. Let's do that again sometime. My place or yours? I got Bulganon. Send that to the convoy. Fortify. Send that to the convoy. All right, we got a lot of spear users coming up here, and I should also probably mark where those folk can go. Oh, we're axing for it. Oh, we're not finished. Gotta be careful with the flying units. Lance Reaver? Advantage versus uh, lances, but disadvantage against axes. And this is just, and that's just a worm slayer. Uh, and your stats indicate that if I were to put her with it, mm, I wish I could just do this. But the worm slayer is effective, no? Does that not count? Oh, this guy is still here. What am I doing? Rosetto. Silver Grey X. If they touch you, then Ivy heals. Sorry. Hey, level up for Rosado. I'm a little overwhelmed. Air Raid. Uh, uh, the problem is I'm putting her like in the crossfire between like eight different things if I put her here. Plus is, there are two archers? Yep, two archers. Is this impassable? No. I would like to take care of the Dagron if I can. The Dagon Dagron if I can. Not bad arts. No. I was really hoping I'd be able to hit from a really long ways away. But that's not the case here. Silver bow. Death to you. Glad we met. At least I thought it was a bow. It looked like it kind of actually didn't look like a bow at all. Okay. Now I could have these two fly over here. Twenty-three attack versus her defense of eighteen, and then how does weakness work in this game? Is it three times weapon might or two times? Three times weapon might. Uh, well, I can't see the weapon's might because of how this looks. It, for some reason, it doesn't tell you the silver bow's base might. That's still super risky. On top of that, I'd have other things to deal with. Like, she would have to more or less guarantee that she wouldn't be hit by this. I could do poison. Is that a magical attack or a physical attack? P.N. Pain attack.
And no matter where I put her, she's gonna get hit, but I need to get rid of that dragon. Let's go for the Peshkats. And hope to God she doesn't get hit. Or I can crit! <laughs> it was cool. I concur. Can't reach her. Okay. We'll keep her up here to take care of all that. And a bag of chips. Uh, let me see what she's got. She's got the Lance Reaver, she's got the Worm Slayer, and she's got the Hurricane Axe. So I can't go in with Lances, Dragons are flying. Which pretty much means that Ivy is just kind of out. Grants level plus three. Blazing Lion, used to attack adjacent foe and area, th uh, an area three spaces wide. Target area, two rows, oh Jesus, okay, I gotta make sure I'm careful of that. If the unit has 20% of HP or more at the start of combat, you don't always survive combat with at least one HP. Great. I guess my best bet would be to come up here with a sword. 20 defense to her, 37 attack. She wouldn't be attacking twice, would she? Speed of 9, speed of 18. No, I would be attacking twice. I could engage as well. Uh, Soren wouldn't really help that much in this situation, at least not yet. Meanwhile... Everybody line up there. And let her come to me! Hello! Aha! Try and touch me! Aha! You can't do it! You cannot touch! With him at my side, I'm invincible! You're going down for sure! For sure! Sorry! Oh, why did I line these guys up? Five. You put up a good fight. Oh, but Panette. She punching? Oh, yeah, she's got the punchies. Worthy opponent. She had the punchies! <laughs> of course I've grown even stronger. I expect no less of myself. Okay, so we do, do we take damage because the area is on fire? Oh boy. Oh god. Jesus, Lorenzo! Oh, and because the ground is on fire, he can't get through properly! If only... I gotta contend with all this next turn! What's the rest of the BS that's happening here? Oh no! Wow, this is bad! I have to hope I don't get hit by like five things! I had fortify on her. Or not fortify. Wh whichever one is the, the the big heal. Not trade. What are you doing? Ah, she's got the rapier though. Or he. Sorry. I would deal a nice chunk of damage and heal him up. 
You recover. I thought I had recover. I don't think I have any healing items on any of these guys, actually. Treat! And if I can... Oh, I've only really got liberation on me here. I cannot keep her in that fire, that much is certain. Oh, and the chain guard too! Well, she does have Lewin. I mean, she would get the effects of the flames on this, but she's also got a lot of health on her right now, so... I'm not terribly upset by that. Wait, is this guy not chain guarding? Or do you have to activate that? I guess if you're chain guarding, you gotta activate it. Oh, right, I could pull out. I forgot I could pull out healing items straight from the convoy with her. Right. <laughs> she missed. Mystical, not key adept. Two. True. That would. De a lot depends on her living. I have to heal with her. But I also need to take this woman down. How about... We go back a turn. God, I hope this is the first thing I did! It wasn't! Oh, it was! That was cool, was it not? And that was cool, was it not? Alright. But we're going to need a guinea pig. Rosado. Stunning smile. A little overwhelmed. Air raid. I do wish to get rid of you. I'll take care of you. I'm sorry. But we'll need a guinea pig. Okay. Yeah, that attacks. Okay, so don't put the Divine Dragon right behind her. That's what got me in trouble last time. Okay, this side is good. Meanwhile. Over here, not attack, staff, mend, heal her up. Level up Pandreo. Get the Lucina bond. Come over here, attack, revanche, kill a man. You had to see that. What's he using? 
Seraphim. Uh, punchies! The flashing fist art! Wait! Zap! Smack! Punch! 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 All right, attack with Represai. I swear. You know, I'm really glad I play the uh, the Exquisite. the ch next chapter I'm gonna play before I record it in Path of Radiance because otherwise, delicious pain. Mm. May I have some more? Bulganone. Because otherwise I'd be put in situations like this. Also, my brain is breaking. This might be the only chapter I do tonight. All right, now the enemies can go. Now she can light the land on fire. Now she can kill me. Oh, here he comes. Miss. With him at my side. Yes, yes, you're invincible. Of course, I've grown even straight away. Oh, I, I thought I skipped only the dialogue. I didn't realize I skipped the whole damn thing. Contemplative. A curious dance. Using the Worm Slayer, which means if I were to try to attack her with, say, uh oh, Liberation, I would take a neat chunk of damage. But if I did it from a ways away with, say, oh, the Leaven Sword, she couldn't do anything to me. Just need to make sure that whatever damage I do, it equals up to enough that I'm actually going to be able to kill her. And to heal up Gold Mary, because she is kind of in a way right now. I feel like I'd have to engage and use Bolting. Go back here, attack. Bolting is only gonna do three damage? I guess it doesn't do much. That's as far as he can go. She could travel the world. Retreating her is kind of out of the... Well, I, she does have rescue. I mean, it's probably going to make things worse for me if I try one of these attacks. Eternal Claw. Tail Smash. Uh, that's not going to help at all. Especially considering she goes first. Fog Breath. Again, she goes first. Eternal Claw. Doesn't help. Oh yeah, Gold Mary doesn't have too much of a magic stat, huh? I have to do this. Dark Inferno! No. Bolt Axe to get her down. Between Bolt Axe. Is there anything she has that would deal a little bit more damage? The Silver Lance would deal 16. Well, I can't have her attack, though, is the problem. Because otherwise she'll be put. Well, I can't have her attack. She just have to be healed. But again, I'm down to I'm down to four people attacking. So one, two, three, four. Well, no, it would be it would be her because I'd have to use her to heal. I'm slowly figuring this out. Problem then comes into positioning. Anybody got any ranged attacks here? Silver Axe, Silver Lance, Silver Lance. If I build a wall around, uh... Yeah, if I build a wall around Gold Mary, will that, would that be okay? Do, would Ivy take damage from this because it's a terrain thing? 
If I put it right here. Flying units usually aren't affected by terrain. Oh wait, Bulgano would bring her down to one, the frick. All right, I just need to check my attack options here. That brings her down to that. How much are you bringing her down? And if I were to engage, if I were to engage and then do a twin strike, not as much as I hoped. I'm pretty sure I'd do more with the rape here. 18 health left. Oh yeah, hold out. Curses. And that's if she has 20% or more of her HP, right? Yep, so whoever I attack with needs to do a, a significant chunk of damage. And she can't be broken because she's a... She's one of those units. Herm. Her bolt axe does a significant chunk, but does it bring her down pet tw to 20%? 16. No, that's above 20%. Engaging with her. Bulgano would bring her down to one. Smash him into a wall, use fracture. It's taking me forever to get this 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 uh this this turn down. Cataclysmic, catatonic. Oh, uh, she is in grave danger. Actually, the more I look at this, why did she have to go with the Worm Slayer? I could have used my breath. It would have been fine. Wish I had something with a bit more attack, but I don't. Hmm. I mean, retreating is a viable option. In fact... Just so I'm able to... Staff... Really glad I have this rescue staff. It's a legitimate strategy! Should get her across the fire before that expires. Convoy! I think I'll get rid of one of my lances in exchange for, oh, let's say an elixir. I barely know. Uh, items, elixir, drink. All right, meanwhile, on this side.
Uh, I mean, is there any doubt? She hasn't taken any damage yet. Which saddens me. Bravo to me, my offensive capabilities have increased. Level up of the bond. Oh, I can't get any closer? Oh, sugar shoot. Oh, I can't get much closer than that either. Well, damn, bro. Uh, 14 damage, should it hit? But if I were to switch to the Silver Axe, I could just do it without having to take damage. You put up a good fight. Did you though? You did. I'm just being me unnecessarily mean. I'm sorry. Dances for Diamond! Level ups for Seedal! I'm pleased I was able to improve. Now, moving on. Attack. Attack with the silver axe once again and kill the man. No! Or woman, Remember excuse me. This. Hard dog dish. Ah, I'm finally growing strong enough to honor my title as Crown Prince of Brodia. Is there a bridge up here? There isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, about face. And let's get to crossing it on the other, crossing the borders on the other side. They're gonna have to travel through fire in order to get to me. Oh God, the fire is gone. Two percent chance to hit. Oh, Lord in heaven! Yikes, dude! Doesn't help that we got the horseman there. How far can you go? Okay. Dance! Dance for his highness! We shall be friends for certain. All right, all right, all right. Let's save some of this for later. Is that on fire? No, can I kill you? Yes, however, there's a lot of risk there because, uh... He's coming! Uh, Dark Augment grants staff range plus three and area of effect plus one. Oh, good. He only has great sacrifice, I think. If they, if he's just rolling with Mikaya. Contemplative. Okay, I, I feel a little bit better about what, what weapons does he have? 24, 26, 27, and recover. Okay, I think I'm okay. I think Gold Mary's okay to come up here and just get rid of Arching Man. I mean, I guess, like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get rid of, I gotta get rid of this person, man. I have Bulga known her from here to the Stone Age, but not gonna do much. The Silver Blade actually does more. Oh, and I can't use the axe anymore. Wait, does she have the Armor Slayer? No, she's got the Worm Slayer. Does anybody have my Armor Slayer? It would appear not. Uh, were I to go to the convoy, could I use the Armor Slayer? Even though it gets rid of my range, it would be better. Movier is going to kill me.
Who's got who's got good resistance? Who's who's got to go up to the front lines there? Oh, for God's sake! Okay. So so stupid. Oh, she doesn't have because mm, Unica's got it. Oh, he definitely has to attack with the Radiant Bow. How much attack is he doing with the Radiant Bow? 48. That would be hopefully enough to bring her down to her range here. Hoop. Things are not going well. The archers 100% have to go. I could just pick it, pick it, it's cash. She's got a lot of avoid, so maybe I could do get away with this. Maybe. If I use the confecta knife. I use the package. Actually, if I use the confecta knife, then I can attack this guy from a distance. But I can't kill this one. I'll just use the pesh gods. 48 would be exactly down to 11? Okay. Their bond increases. Okay, Gold Mary, finish her off. Will the Swirl Lance kill? No, the Swirl Lance will not. In fact, she would also get a much better chance of hitting, so Silver Sword it is. Which is weird, because that gives me less avoid than using the Swirl Lance. Actually, oh. Do you have stuff that's good against dragons? Shine and Nosferatu. No. Can I just like throw a spear at her? Would that work? Actually, yes, it does a lot more damage than any other stuff I've been using. I will never fail. She levels up! Now, now I will be even more popular. Is she a popular character? She is the cheese. She is the best character on the show. She is even better than the salami and the bologna combined. My indecisiveness is getting the better of me. All right. Should I have you to Matt to meet him? Is that a good idea? No. Wow, no! Uh, all of my resistance is on you. Everything I do. It's boo in a shoe. Just attack her with the hand or the spear and get it over with. By a bunch of weaklings. No fair, no fair, no fair. All right. Whatever I attack, I need to make sure I do it from a safe distance. Because I'm going to be attracting the ire of many things. Actually, I also need to consider my position as well. Let's equip. All right. We're going to wait. We're going to get you as close as possible. Do you have any other staves other than healing? No. All right. And we roll the dice and see where it goes. Here it comes. I will stop at nothing to protect Lady Vale. Ten damage. Seventeen damage. That was cool, was it not? That was cool, was it not? I how much of a dork she is. 
They are all going for her. A few hits like that and she's she's done for. Hopefully they don't all go for Oh, they are all going for her. She she has to dodge better than that. Come on. Was it not? All right, at least her speed went up so she's able to dodge a bit better. But not going to help me much. Come on, dude. I did. How many times did I lose that coin flip? <laughs> Alright, maybe I should have her come up here instead and take care of this guy. Just use Bolganone. Actually, no, her defense is worse! Oh, no, wait, her defense is a lot better, actually, but she will be taking a lot of hits. I'm gonna figure out something. Maybe put her here instead. Oh, but that won't kill him, though. My stupid confection knife. Maybe have him do it? No, I need his, uh, I need his, uh, his bow. Gold Mary has less avoid. Oh, why couldn't I have brought Unica down here? He's getting a land bonus. Hmm. Can you chuck a spear at him? Would that? That wouldn't kill. Speed isn't high enough. Ah, but hers is, or his is, but we have another issue. All right, I've got infinite use of this. I can at least see what happens if I try this. Yes! Sorry. Oh, I don't want to use Bulganone yet, are you crazy? Throw a spear. You're nothing. I'm too good. <laughs> You're nothing. I'm too good. Now I will be even more popular. But with what crowd? That is the important thing. Radiant bump. Need help? <laughs> So even Twari to crit, it would not be enough. How many should have left? Twelve. Uh-oh. Wait. Is she out of killing range? Oh my god, she's out of killing range! How did that happen? I'm just going to Bolganon! Right. <laughs> she left the murder range! Whoa now! Feet. 
frightened by a bunch of weaklings. We heard this before. All right. Roll them bones. I will stop it. All right, Rosado's definitely getting oh hit for a crit. Why? What good is being cute? Back up here. Okay, I can't have Rosado do that then because he is going to die. Fine. Thoron. And we'll bring her over here and attack with the spear. Nothing. I will never fail. All right, yay, good, she leveled up. Uh, that will be even more popular, yay. Big booby lady, good job, you did it. Radiant bow. Okay. This is putting him in a very precarious situation. Because I gotta put him in front of everybody and their dad. Need help? I thought he missed for a second and I was about to be so mad. No fair, no fair, no fair, no fair! Okay. Okay. Is that good enough? Will this work now? Anybody dead? Nobody's died yet, but man is she close. Shouldn't make me proud to be so useful in battle. It should make me proud to be, make me so useful in battle, shouldn't it? All right, we did it! I got so sick of that, I just had to skip it all. Fortify! I don't know who all needs it, but it gives me a ton of experience. Dance. And it's gonna be on the front lines! And Yunaka! Yunaka! First off, I dare say you should probably die. I'm going to hit you with a wound owl. Glad we met. I do want Gold Mary to get the kill on this because she's a little bit under level compared to everyone else. Attack. Liberation. Ah, he's Nosferatu. This one chapter took so long. Wait, did he heal up? He healed. Oh no, okay, I did kill him. Goodness, thank. Uh, what can I do to get him far enough down for her to be able to finish the job? That does... Uh... Well, actually, it does quite a bit of damage. It's just based on whether or not... He hits. Hi, bud. I'm almost done. I could attack from a distance using Thoron, so that way he can't counter. 
Leaving him at 17, which is exactly the amount of damage that she'll do! Horon! Attack with the Silver Lance for 17 damage. Died. All right. We advance. We advance. We advance. We advance. Wow, advance in the pants. All right. Uh, and then all three of the other ones are up here. He's got rescue, right? How far does that go? No, she's got rescue. Staff, rescue. He needs a little boost to get closer. It also makes them uh, friends. Uh, we've got... Paladins. Calvarius Paladins, as it were. Let's move you up. Don't I have something along the lines of a Rider's Bane in there? Oh, not trade. I wanted the convoy. I do have a Rider's Bane. Perhaps I can attract them with the feminine wiles of Rosado. What are they using, anyway? Swords! Then my Great Lance will work perfectly! Gotta move them on up. To the east side. And that deluxe apartment in the sky. Because I'm moving on up. Look at this pallid inn. <sighs> Is the other one coming? Yes! Can Gold Mary reach him? No! <laughs> Damn it! Ro, actually. Oh, wait, never mind. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that crazy old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If we... Ooh, what did, what did he get? Gentility. Unit takes three less damage. I stab you with Rider's Bane! I'm too good. Break! Uh, uh, Alright. Somebody can move a distance here! Oh my god, it's her! What is she using? 12 for movement? Oh, because Sigurd! Well, I could lure her out. She's a dragon, right? Yeah. Don't I have a sword that's good against dragons? Like, give her the Worm Slayer or something? Ah. Gold Mary has my Worm Slayer. Unless. Wow, that's all I have in here? Good lord, man. Actually, it might be a good idea to equip the Leaven Sword. Just so I'm actually dealing damage to this woman. Everyone else is just like doing their best to keep up. 
with gratitude. I'll do my best. Three to the two to the one to the three. Enough chit chat, you can't hide from me. Shall we converse, perhaps over tea? Magic is everything. The enemy! Bond fragments! Hey, James Bond fragments! There's no running from Sigurd! You think you can defeat me in my night? Then by all means, try! Oh dear! Yeah. Wow, and I do, you've got, she's got resistance to spare. I'm going to need a medic. She just can't get close enough. What's the matter, bug? I hear you back there. I actually think the regular bow would deal more damage, yeah. But should I engage, I could also use a mirror. That's not fail not. A mirror does do more against dragons, so. Except I do gotta take a spicy hit here first. I won't quit. Who is the spiciest meme lord? What's in the matter, air bug? I know we're in the middle of combat, but I gotta take a break, cause dog. Be right back. He wanted me to go downstairs so I could watch him drink. Seventeen defense, twenty-three resist. Our foes are strong. They are, aren't they? Is she using a sword? Yeah, she's using the Levin sword, right? Yep. Ooh, what does the purple health stone mean? Does that mean she's a dragon? I wish I can get Penette up there. This would be so over if I can get Penette up there. Please don't let them attack me. If only shove strats were in this game. <laughs> just a, just a line of shoves. I need some pretty intense heals after this, eh? Hey, what? Strength and dexterity up. Attack with the Peshkats. Yeah. Ah. Impudent. You were a worthy opponent. No need for restraint, Sigurd. Run wild. Uh oh. <laughs> Look upon the might of Lord Sombron. Uh oh. The emblem is going wild. This is just like what happened at Solm Palace. This poses a real challenge. Override? Um...
Not entirely sure what happened. I might have to go back in time on this one. Aha! I almost don't want to kill. But it seems I may not have a choice. Legend of Daniel Dunderman saying, when someone with an emblem says that they usually get access to a new weapon or ability that they couldn't use prior. Gotcha. Rosaldo. What's the matter, bug? Are you bored? Are you a bored little bug? What do you got there? Oh, you got a ring. Did you got a ring? God, boy. Be my little bug. Be just a little bug. All right, I'm just gonna kill her. Iron Great Axe, bringing down the hammer. Quite strong. Armed like this, and yet I did not win. Aha! Man, look at how much be how much more freely we can move now. Bingo! Staff! Fortify! So many people need heals! It gives so much experience. Many which thank you for the 92 months of tier one. If this is for the dr divine dragon, I'm not afraid to be a little ruthless. Self-healing! Yeah, we're getting there. I have him right where I want him. Obscurity. I don't remember if we actually fought this guy last time or if he just kind of died. Tell me what to do. Anybody moving? No? Okay. Ow! Wah. France. Treat? I did fight him the last time. It's been a while since I played this. I have no complaints. <laughs> I do, this sucks! All right. Panette's on the front lines, finally. Convoy, I did take back the Armor Slayer. Swap for the Armor Slayer. Trade for the Armor Slayer. Wait for the Armor Slayer. Equip the Armor Slayer. I'll get more people. I'll get more people up on the front, lads. Hey, buddy. I guess you chewed your fill, huh? Oh, shoot! I remember nothing. That look on your face. Is it fear or hatred? Oh, good. He does nothing with the Master Lance. What? To <laughs> Jesus! I will never fail. Goldberry. Now it will be even more popular. Brave assist. Ow. Eat a horse. I'm too good. I do a little bit wish that I had Hortensia here, but having Ivy should be fine. 
Bolganone! I... Father... I've not seen you since we were at the Brodian border. That was our farewell. In this life, at least. It need not be. I can appeal to Lord Sombron. Ask him to welcome you back as our ally. No. You are... Not you. I will not cling tearfully to my father's shadow. But I am grateful for this. Grateful for the chance to thank you. Say goodbye. And tell you that as Illusia's queen, I will surpass you. Why did the Racket of Solm activate? Bye, zombie dad. Actually, yeah, I would like to actually attack with Represai, because she has not had a chance to attack in a while. Neither has Unica, actually. Think whatever you like. No, no. Expect no less from the Princes of Solm? Ha! Huh. Just, just joking, but is uh, but it is cool how strong I am. Give in to your impulses, Emblem Leaf. Lord Sombron is limitless. I was right in my actions. <laughs> I would love it if it's if they had Erica Nephraim. <laughs> it's just like unleash your pulses, Emblems, Erica Nephraim, and they just start making out. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault the game made them, uh... The game made them closer than they should have. Unica? Ooh, the light brand. Under attack. My god. That's gotta be an enormous tack. Uh, 35 damage. Let's have a chance to crit. Let's try it. Witness no! I will what? Are you kidding me? Now I've done it. Rosado, why? If I could turn back time, if I could find a way, ah! Me back. Is he? He didn't. He didn't crit on a twenty-eight. Peeved by that. He didn't crit on a twenty three. I cannot accept this. The moment I slipped into the fell dragon's thrall, my fate was sealed. Ivy Nortensia, I'm sorry. No, that I love you both. Illusia is yours to lead and yours to save. Ooh, flashing fist art. And, and they bonded. Uh, let's start moving peeps up. 
I've got to be a dragon and fight a dragon. Swear to God, if if Mr. Fisticuffs over there ends up doing me in, then I'm going to be mad. What are you going for? Ah, of course. You made the attempt to punch. I didn't think you were that close. Oh no. How much health do you have? 47. Defense of 13. Okay, and you're using the rapier, so... I don't think I have any armored units. Uh, Thomas and, uh, Thomas and Riesel, uh, I, I apologize if I butchered this. Thomas and Re- uh, wait. Thomas? Thomas and Dressel Hefe. You know Sacred Stones actually has no incest and, uh, that Fire Emblem 4 does? That's interesting. Fire Emblem has a, has a tendency with, uh, with that. I have butchered your name. Silver Lance, I will break you. Who is this tiny upset girl? Bolganon. Radiant Bow will do nothing. Actually, she's got a lot of defenses. She am Dragon, though. I can come over here. Go into my convoy. Who has my Worm Slayer? Actually, who actually has my Worm Slayer? Diamond! Where is my Worm Slayer? I thought she had it, but she doesn't. She's got my Armor Slayer. Unless it's not a sword. Wait a minute. Marin has my Worm Slayer. It deals less damage. I can at least, like, Weaken her with, uh, by throwing candy at her. Ah, a new toy. I'm going to enjoy this. Can you defeat your old friend, Marth? Easily. As long as the ring's not broken, it'll be fine. <laughs> candy! It feels right that Marin is attacking with candy. Uh, Repressi? Actually, I should save Repressi for the next time, because breaking would be very good here. Attack. Steal Great Lands. That would be attack with the Rape here first for not a lot of damage. But then. Oh, then. What? We cannot have that. Whoops, I needed to, I wanted to check the accuracy of tomahawking first. That hit. You put up a good fight. Hero King, let's make it hurt, shall we? 
Impressed by father's power? Bell dragons are far beyond divine dragons. Rosado's been Rosado's been having it rough. The Silver Dagger. This will do a lot of damage, but at the same time... Actually, I, you know what, I'm just gonna use her to take him down, because we could just go for our experience at this point. Oh, he didn't... Oh, she didn't do it. She didn't... Oh, oh no, she... Oh... And then I can just take her down with revenge. Just because of the sheer amount of damage that does. The sheer amount of damage that does. Wait. Just try it, Dingus. I'm not a Dingus. You're the Dingus. I'm here. Adorable. Attack! I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky. Now for a little bit of level up juice. Because Fortify is really good at that and gives a ton of experience. Uh, Thomas Andreas, uh, oh, Thomas Andreas El Jefe, there we go. Saying, while, uh, there's no incest in, sa uh, incest in Sacred Stones, there is implied necrophilia, but it's painted as really effed up, and rightly so. I got there in the end! That said, we're moving on! How could this happen? I promise you will not survive our next encounter. Well, I'm gonna put you back to sleep so the good one comes back. Brute force! Hooray! Rosado and Erica were the heroes! I think this is the only chapter I'm gonna do tonight. And for good reason. Raisins is my intel guy. <gasps> Damn, the ring we gave Hyacinth. They snatched it. We gotta protect the other ones. Let's get them onto the ship. I will take the ring of the Hero King. Come, my lady. We must hurry. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my <laughs> butterfly, sugar, baby. Zephia, give me your ring. What are you planning? Just do it. Very well. They're not showing her face. It would be really funny if she just ran like hell. I was joking! Vale. When we return, I'll see that you never wake up again! Mavir, keep an eye on those other rings! 
Understood. The Ring of the Holy Knight. <sighs> Thank you, Vale. Maisie Swiss cheese. That's pretty holy. Emblem Sigurd. Emblem Leaf. I'm glad you two are back. As am I. Allow me to apologize for failing to protect you at the cathedral. All this time within my dimmed consciousness, I feared you and I would never again meet. Sigurd. That was my fault, not yours. Marth tried to warn me. They have been twisting Vale's mind and using her as a pawn. With Sombron's movement. Hello, Discount Roy. It is she who carries out his will. Or maybe Roy is Discount Leaf. Should we try to rescue her? First, we have to help the people of Flora. We can go to Elugia after we've put out the remaining fires and rescued the survivors. With this fight, we have eight rings. We're at an advantage to take the other four. Plus all the bracelets we have! Victory is in sight. Alfred, why don't you go to the castle? Tell Queen Ev what has happened here. Yeah. Leave the village to us. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. <sighs> Be safe, Vale. And he just goes crying back to mommy. <laughs> How many the god this polycule is nuts. Eight rings? Ooh, hey, how you doing? Goodbye, father. Forever this time. Yes. This is strange to say, but I think seeing my father that way has helped me find closure. Na 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 na. Hey. I know my skills need work, divine one, but may I request to join you on the front lines? Ten bond fragments. Hmm. The survivors are being counted. We may have lost as many as we saved. It's hard to say. Well. I can't stand to see all this, and Mother is going to feel devastated for our people. Hmm. It'll take a long time to rebuild this place, but I think we can get get it looking just as good as it did. Ugh. I feel like crying, but tears won't bring back this town. That'll take hard work. Oh, there's somebody up here, too. And 200 bond fragments. Chloe! <sighs> this village used to be so charming, like it came straight from a fairy tale. Now look at it. Someone over here, too. <clears throat> horrible. Just horrible. The fires are out now, but what possessed them to do all this? Reach for my hand. Reach for- that's a lot of silver. Reach for my hand. Reach for my hand. Take my goddamn hand. It's a lot of iron. Hey, Dr. Kitty? Yeah. Another kitty. That one looks like Kepler. <laughs> that cat is gonna those those cats are gonna eat that seagull. God, her dress is so extra. Both their dresses are extra. To the somnial away. Reach for buddy, is there a reason you put your face behind the door? Are you ready? He is definitely ready for bed. How is he ready for bed? How is he ready for bed? What day do the Wii U and 3DS services go offline? Bond conversations are available. Uh oh. It's the 8th? Is that the same day as the eclipse? You are quite strong, Panat. 
I'd like to make you mine. Your interest honors me, but I feel I would have to discuss it with the boss. Skill inheritance. Oh yeah, I think, well, I forgot what ability it was, but Veronica had a really good ability for Panette. I can't remember if it affected her crit at all. Uh, Diamant and Tamara have a new support conversation. Fun, fun, fun for all to see. Gonna sing, 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 and go shopping. Can't wait to see all the folks out there and dance and shake my hair, hair, hair. <laughs> all it needs is little John in the background going, what? Okay! Hello, Princess Tamara. Sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> what tipped you off? I'm actually headed into town. All by yourself? No guards or escorts? Yeah! Going incognito. You know, you're more than welcome to come with. Thank you, but I'll pass. I was about to start my daily training regimen. Aw, that's a shame. Would have been fun to hang with Princey D. But he's busy training his body. <clears throat> I don't mean to meddle in the affairs of other royals, but if you have time to sing and dance your way through town, you should have time for training. I don't see those things as mutually exclusive. Prince D! Spending time with real people? It makes me a better princess. Just like training makes you a better prince. See where I'm coming from? I don't think I do. I train to grow stronger so I can better protect my people. Then we're one in the same. I hang out with folks in town so I can protect them. After all, can't keep someone safe if you don't know who they are. I see. That's an interesting perspective. I'll have to think that one over while I train. Hmm, interesting. Truly, I'll have to think that one over. Quite interesting indeed. Yes, very interesting. Mm. Uh, yes. Steel ingot. Iron ingot. Iron ingot. Steel ingot. I did got I got no silver from that, but I did get silver from the chapter. So wait, there's one more. Steel ingot. You know what they say, it's a steal. Ah! All right, um, whose interactions did I enjoy? Rosado, for one. Oh, why don't we have Rosado and Gold Mary, like, have fun? And yes, I don't like her, but Rosado, uh, we'll do Rosado and Hortensia. As well as Gold Mary and Hortensia, just so we can get a little conversation out of the... The Riff Raff the Rabble. Hortensia. Gold Lewis. Etienne and Gold Mary, okay. Rosado. Hey, Gold Mary, could you teach me how to cook? I could, but why the sudden interest? I've been thinking. When it comes to cuteness, I'm obviously miles ahead of you. Wow. Excuse me? But you're still better than me at a lot of things, and cooking is one of your many talents. So I figure, if I really want to compete with you, I should learn. How hard could it be? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm still not past the part where you said you're miles ahead of me in cuteness. Really? Well, we can come back to that another day. The important thing is I want to learn to cook, and I want you to teach me. What do you say? <sighs> not the most flattering way to ask for a favor, but since we're friends... <laughs> All right, I'll teach you. Yes! Thanks, Gold Mary! Soon I'll be adorable and multi-talented. I suppose we'll see. She's going to- she's going to sabotage him! 
Rosado and Hortensia. <laughs> picture perfect, Hortensia. Huh? What did you say? Look, I drew your picture. I can draw real fast. It's my not-so-hidden talent. See, it's practically a mirror. And look how beautiful you are. Seriously? I'm staring off into the distance. I look boring. Here, do it again. I'll pose for it properly this time. I like this one, though. Are you joking? It's awful. The expression doesn't express me at all. Here, this is my good side. Draw me again. Nah, your first expression's better. <laughs> this is an order from your princess. Fine, fine. Make the face again. Done. Is this what you wanted? Perfect! Be sure to throw that other one away. <laughs> no! We can't let future generations think I was some boring girl always staring off at nothing. There's nothing boring about you. I know that. All right, Gold Mary and Hortensia. Gold Mary, I heard a rumor that some gentlemen callers were asking after you in town. I'm sorry that you didn't hear it from me, but it happens too often for me to tell you every time. Oh, I'm not mad. So, uh, what did you do? What did you tell them? How do you get the boys to fawn all over, all over you? Boom, boom. Well, how do you think? I declined as politely as I could. That makes sense. I guess you're pretty used to this kind of thing, huh? I mean, this has been happening to you for a while, right? Mm, I'm afraid so. I seem to attract that sort of attention wherever I go. Boom. I'm sorry if my natural charisma is in any way an inconvenience to you. No, that's not what I mean. That kind of stuff just doesn't happen to me, is all. As she breasted bustily. It will when you're older. What, like I'm a little kid or something? Of course not. Well, I guess I should look on the bright side. You set the standard of charming. I only expect the best from my retainers. I'm proud to see you excel. Thank you. Speaking of excellence, maybe you can teach me some of your skills. Cooking, for instance. Oh, you don't think you're cuter than me, too, do you? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Goldberry's like a more down-to-earth Camilla. <laughs> what, are you gonna take shots at me, too? Hmm. Hi, Smithy. I'd really like for you to refine... Uh, which weapon was it? Reprisai. But I still need... 12 more silver. I can get 5 right now. I'll be here. Hello. Welcome. I am most curious to see who you dine with. Disposed of Boucheron's meal. Give me Marin, give me Goldmary. They can't, they don't have anything together, so that's not great. Give me Goldmary, give me... You know what, screw it. I'll just do it. This will just be for me. They've got nothing to talk about, but it's fine. It's cool. I'm cool. One moment while I prepare your order. Now to business. This should be simple enough. Oh dear. Thank you for your patience. Here you are. Nearly as good as I would do. We can safely call this acceptable. I'd like to feed some to my wolf if that's okay. She's the cutest and I know she'd love it. D. <laughs> wow, that is that is just acceptable. All right, save. Oops. 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 Okay. That's gonna be for the stream. I'm tired.
Actually, probably gonna play a bit more of this in bed. For the time being. Skeens, back to this. There we are. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for joining me for Mario Kart, where we had to wait for a while, started talking about movies, had some very weird conversations because there were no women present. Oh, and don't forget, we got a sub goal. Because at 1,800 subs, I'll review, if we get it before March 9th, April 9th, damn it, I keep thinking we're in March. If I, we get it before April 9th, then I will reveal the plush before it's available. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll be able to order your plush on April 14th. And, yes. Uh, it'll be, it'll be a great plush. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's of my VTuber, it's of the Tom VTuber. The Tom Fox Wizard VTuber. Uh, the silhouette makes it look like I'm just Toad, but don't worry, it's just the berm of the hat. It's super cute. Everyone I've showed it to says they love it. So yes, I hope you all, I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all, I uh, hope uh, enough of you pre-order it. Because I believe I need 200 pre-ordered to ship. But my goal is going to be 300. A lofty goal indeed. Let's see who's live. Think of a raid message while I look for uh, somebody to raid. Advantage, advantage. I don't know who this is. Oh, I know who that is. Ah, this person. <laughs> Double crit gum. Wait, somebody had another one. What was it? Fifth. Actually, I do like fifth floor dog dangling. We'll do that one. We're gonna raid Lilith Void, who's currently playing uh, Monster Hunter Rise with Duvad and Botanic Sage. So give her some of that Tommyness love, and I will see you all back here. Maybe tomorrow, definitely Friday, though. Anyway, I'll see you all then. Later.